So you want to embrace the darkness. Well, you've come to the right place. Today I thought I'd make a guide on Dark Knight and make it in the span of four minutes. But before we get into the video, I'd like to thank today's sponsor. Just kidding, we don't have a sponsor. Nobody wants to sponsor a video about doom, gloom, and darkness. But yeah, let's get into the video. First things first, before you do anything, you wanna activate grit, which gives you 10 times enmity or aggro. If you're not using grit, you're not playing Dark Knight. You're playing full on psychopathic darkness. Next, you wanna know your bread and butter single target global cooldown abilities. Starting off, you wanna hit them with hard slash. This is to assert some dominance. Once you've asserted dominance, you wanna weaken their soul with siphon strike. Finally, you want to use Soul Eater to consume their soul to the darkness. If that's not enough darkness for you, you can use Blood Weapon, Edge of Shadow, and Plunge to go even further into the darkness. Little tip here, so you want to use Blood Weapon as early as possible so that you can build up for an ability called Living Shadows. This ability is easily Dark Knight's coolest ability because it builds up a shade clone of yourself that does a lot of damage. Hey guys, Editing Astro here. I completely forgot to mention that you want to be weaving these abilities in between the global cooldowns we just talked about. Pretty important. I can't believe I forgot that. Everyone knows when you're in the bleak chambers of the darkness, you're going to be facing more than two enemies. So when you are facing more than two enemies, this is how you handle it as a Dark Knight. First, you want to use Unleash, which sends out pure angst from the ground to pierce your opponents. Next, you want to use Stalwart Soul, which sends out pew pew lasers of anger and hate to annihilate your enemies. Additionally, you can use Flood of Shadows in between abilities and Quietus when you are capped on your blood gauge. Another tip here is that when using Flood of Shadows, it is a literal line, even though it is an AOE ability. So make sure when you are sending that pure hatred line, you line up your enemies so it actually hits them. Another ability you can use for AoE is called Salted Earth, and this one also you have to watch out for because it's not an ability you just press and it works. You have to press and then place the Salted Earth around you. So make sure you do that, otherwise you're gonna get salt all over people you don't wanna get salty. Other than damage abilities, Dark Knight has a lot of abilities that help them fully utilize the power of darkness. You can use Abyssal Drain to get HP back from your opponents, as well as Carve and Spit to get MP back from your opponents. Another cool ability is Delirium, which lets you use Quietus and Blood Spiller without any cost. Those abilities are basically your Blood Gauge or Mana Dump, so being able to use them for free and gain resources back is huge. So make sure you're using that one off cooldown so that you get the full power of darkness. In terms of tank specific utility, you have Provoke and you have Shirk. So Provoke is basically a taunt that builds enmity or aggro towards yourself and Shirk will throw the aggro to someone else. So if you're having to taunt swamp with a tank, maybe that might be helpful. Little do people know that you can also use the darkness to protect yourself and attack back at your enemies. One of the best defensive abilities a Dark Knight has is the Blackest Knight. And what happens is it gives you a shield and if the enemy pops the shield, then you get a free charge of Edge of Shadow or Flood of Shadow. Another good one is Living Dead. With this one, if your HP goes below zero, you won't die. But when Living Dead's timer runs out, if you don't have 100% HP, you are dead to the darkness. You also have Shadow Wall and Dark Mind for damage mitigation so you take less damage. And Dark Missionary, which allows you and your party members to take less magic damage. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just remember, darkness has many levels. This was just the first level of darkness. There are many more to go to master the Dark Knight class. I hope this helped you guys out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead, drop a subscribe, a like. I do stream on Twitch every once in a while, so you guys can go follow me on Twitch TV slash Astro I'll catch you guys next time.